Hello, all my cheeky chicks and PPP. I just want to make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am. Anyway, um, how are you guys doing today? We are playing Seduce Me Senpai. It's not actually called that. It's called Seduce Me Ultimate. And it's a game on Steam I found because I wanted to play and see how many butts I can touch. So, new game. <laughs> what not to do freaking Skype and what not to do in this game is uh is Try not to you know seduce every guy and think you can get away with it. You know one of those dating sims Anyway, I'm back and here I am recording. Okay, let's do this <clears throat> This is a fictional of course it is Interactive narrative any character resemblance to real life people are purely coincidental. Okay <sighs> Okay, how do I, uh... Off to a good start! Off to a good start. Can I save? There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I save. Oh, okay. Also, please know that the following game is made for PG-16 audience. Okay, if my audience aren't PG-16, go get your parents so you can watch this, okay? Sexual violent themes. Ooh, oh, that sounds hot. Um, warning, abuse implied rape. Okay, if you're offended by rape and you cannot make rape jokes, then you need to get out of here. Okay, and suicide. Suicide's no laughing matter. Okay, they're warning you. So if you guys get offended, that's your fault. Please enjoy. Of course. Why, hello. Ooh. My, aren't you a gorgeous sight? Can I be honored enough to know your name? I, I didn't know you even had voices in here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I got tingles. Mm. What's your name? My name is definitely not Mika. It is, um, hmm, what name should her name be? Um, oh man. Ugh. Okay. Sir Button. Mmm. A lovely name for a lovely person like you. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I'm dying. What? <laughs> mm, oh, <laughs> we just met. Eric, do your job. Very well. This game was produced by Seraphim Entertainment under the direction of Michaela Laws and is powered by Renpy Visual Novel Engine. We truly hope you'll enjoy this story. I know I'll enjoy it, since you'll be in it. Oh, Sir Buttons feels a little tinger, tingles in our booty. Ugh. Eric. Fine, fine. <laughs> Farewell, my sweet. See ya, sweet boy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It went from sexy to someone getting murdered. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. Is that all you got? Wanna try me, asshole? Oh! Oh my god. Crap! Missed! Let's retreat for now! Oh, if you can hear my voice really well, it's because I got my new headset, and now you guys can hear my sexy voice. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> no kidding! Let's get out of here! That's right! You better run, you stupid punks! Stay out of our territory! Okay, also no more talking. Call it fate or call it a coincidence. That one moment of violence started a chain of events I will never forget. This formula, created in the 70s, is one of the most important in the field of financial theory. It is used to calculate the price of European style options and is widely used by option marketers, though there are some discrepancies that are now corrected with the modern viewpoint. Okay, this must be me. That doesn't look like me. I look much more sexier. <laughs> it's like no. Anyway, rain. It's been a long time since we've gotten rain around here. But it is the season for rainy weather, so it's not exactly that surprising. I'm not sure if I should give her a voice or I should just talk regularly as I am now, but eh. Personally, I love the sound of it. The way the raindrops fell, fell like the soft tapping of fingers. It was so soothing. Even looking at the droplets hit the glass of the window was strangely calming. For this reason, I felt lucky for having a seat next to the window. 
though I did spend more time staring outside than I did pay attention to class. The lecture in class was pretty boring. Mrs. Phillips' voice wasn't so perfect. So frick, <laughs> but I just wasn't interested in what she was saying. And since it was the period right before lunch, all I could think about was doing other things in my free time. <sighs> Honestly, I didn't really care much for economics. Sure, I had good grades in this class, but it was only because I read the textbook and did my assignments as I had to. I was only taking this class because it was mandatory. If it were up to me, I would probably have taken another course. Luckily, it was my senior year, so after this semester, it would mean the end of the high school course forever. Thank God for that. I didn't hate high school. It was just kind of a mundane how the days drifted on and on, as there, if there was no end to it. <clears throat> the only thing I could really enjoy about going to school was meeting my friends and hanging out with them, but that was kind of it. In short, I was done with high school. The start of second semester brought a note of finality to it. I had already applied to many universities the semester prior, now expecting replies sometime in the next few months. It seemed like the start of something new, something that would change. That's if things could change. I stared at the faint outlet of raindrops in the distance. For now, I was stuck in this class. Miss Anderson. Miss Phillips raised her. Miss Phillips raised her voice, interrupting my train of thought. Just when I, just when I was thinking about class, I quickly turned my head to face the teacher. Hopefully, she didn't pick me just because she knows that I was spacing out. <clears throat> okay, then. Hmm. What voice should I? Sir Buttons. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, what voice should we give her? Um, yes, ma'am? Would you care to name the equation I set up on the blackboard? These nut- Okay, I'm, I'm stop, stop, stop. Oh, I think I read about that in the textbook last night. It should be... What does that say? The black skull's molded formula. Very good as always, Miss Anderson. Um, it's Miss Buttons to you. Anderson, it followed me wherever I went. Most people didn't really know me by my first name, but rather by my surname. No doubt, since the surname was the trademark of the international famous and philanthropic <laughs> Anderson family toys, I cannot speak, and because the founder was my own grandfather, Suzu, one of my, Suzu? Is that how you say your name? Suzu, yeah, okay. One of my best friends turned around and proudly gave me a punch to the shoulder. Kick ass, girl. <laughs> oh my god. From beside me, I heard Nomi, another one of my best friends, clearing her throat in obvious disapproval of Suzu's choice of words. <clears throat> she means good job. Oh, she's one of the... <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to like this game. Miss Capini. Capini? Oh, yes. I'm definitely going to like this game. Oi! Oi? Yes. Care to tell me who the creators of this formula were? Uh... Some guys named Black and Shoals. <clears throat> Fisher Black and Myron Shoals. <laughs> Close enough. Very good, Miss Patterson. Show off. Better study next time, Suzu. Be like us and study once in a while. Snap, snap. She came after you, girl. <clears throat> oh, it, it is Suzu. Okay, I was right. I hear you guys doubting out there. Suzu rolled her eyes and slouched in her chair as Nomi gave her... A small smirk. She was always, she always pouted when Nomi showed her up. That's the end of today's lecture. Now, let's separate into groups and work on your projects. Remember, everything is due on Monday. Go ahead now. I'm glad that um they let other people talk in this. It's like it's fun to do your own voices, but then it gets tiring. <clears throat> Before I knew it, Suzu and Nomi had scooted their desk to align with mine, and we turned into the Three Musketeers. Whenever the teacher let the students decide on groups, we always grouped together in our little trio. It always was sheer stroke of luck that we all managed to be in the same class, so we had to at least take the opportunity and stick together as much as we could. I'm sorry if it sounds like um, my S's sound like really loud, I don't know if I talk with a list, I don't know. 
Besides, we are mostly comfortable around each other than, say, comp compared to being around any other classmates. It just made sense for us to put our heads together for any kind of project. I took out the poster we were working on and rolled it open onto the three desks. We were pretty much finished with fulfilling most of the guidelines for the project, though we did still have to add a few finishing touches here and there. After working on making the poster a bit prettier, we sat back and inspected our work to see what we still had to do. Nomi, as usual, was the first to look for any issues. She lightly tapped a pencil against her chin, staring intently at the project. Alright, so let's see. We finished the budgeting section, the building leasing, and the cost for labor. What else do we need? Is it me or she looks a little bit like Starfire? I don't even know. I may be tripping. <clears throat> Susu straightened up to look at the poster, stroked her tin, chin. After a few seconds, her face brightened and she spoke up. company name? Did we really skip over that? Of course we did! You always go straight into the logical statistics and stuff that you completely skip over the fact. We need a name for our project. Ugh, at least we caught it this time. What do we name it? Hmm, not sure. What do you think? Sir Button. <laughs> it always came down to me. Whenever there was something to be named on our title, I was the master at ending decision. Even when I didn't want to be. I like Trinity Corporation. That is way too predictable. How about the Dragon Company? Ooh, that if that name does sound appealing. If I heard there was a company named Dragon, I would go into it. What do but then be highly disappointed. Project? What? It's a totally unpredictable name. It's hot. Oh. But our company sells bubblegum. Exactly. Who would ever think Dragon sell bubblegum? Come on now. We said we can't produce spicy bubble gum. <sighs> what do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Both of them looked at me expectantly, even though I was quite sure myself I didn't really want to choose sides. But if you were up to me, I would say, Oh man, I wish there was like an option where I could type, I'd be like the Trinity Dragon Company. Boom! Y'all wish you were me. Anyway. I like the Dragon Company. Booyah! Dragon Company it is! Alright, now that we've decided on a name, now what? <clears throat> As we ended our name game, a giggling scrabbled my thoughts. <laughs> huh? Who was that? Ignore it. Oh, that wasn't my thoughts. It was actually me saying it. I looked over my sh shoulder to see her laughing with her circle of friends, mostly compromised of popular people that were practically friends with everyone in the school. Quote unquote friends. As a result, everyone in the school knew them and the center of all of it was Leslie White. Lizita White, excuse me. She sat with a posture that indicates she was still working, but that she also was reading too casually. Uh, uh, but that she also was ready to casually chat about her day. Good gracious woman, read better. Hey. Oh my gosh, did I go? Ah oh man, I clicked too much. Crap. I don't even know what it said. It was easy to make her smile and laugh, and she was quite the comedian as well. Basically, she was perfect. Not that she was like a robot or something, but she was the student that everyone else wanted to be. Can I go back? No, I cannot. That sucks. Or can I? Nope, I cannot. I suck. Lazita was bright, easygoing, and above all, had her future laid out right in front of her. Unlike the average student, she knew that she wanted to do what she wanted to do at the high school, and as a result, she was confident and ambitious. Though sometimes it could rub a lot of people the wrong way. Moreover, more, yeah, did I say that? Moreover, more, moreover, I said it. I know what I said. <laughs> moreover, I had known her ever since I was young, but I had all. What is wrong with me? I can't read. <laughs> oh my god. But it had um, ultimately resulted in a rivalry. Uh, see? I can't even do it. I, it's, mm, I know what these words are. Look at, the, look at their faces. They're looking at me through the screen like, can you read? Are you okay? I don't know. I'm definitely not having a stroke. I can tell you that. I just, my tongue. <laughs> oh man, I suck. <laughs> okay. 
Of course my friends knew what was between us, and upon seeing me glance at her, they shifted their attention to her. She doesn't even look like she's working, in my opinion. She probably is, but she's too much of a stuck-up priss to allow herself to look like she's actually doing work. Oh. That, mm. Shots. Oh, come on, Suzu. She may be a little off-putting, but she's not the giant priss that you're making her seem to be. The day she isn't a priss is the day I turn into you. Oh! What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. It's about time. Let's bail. She ran. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Suzu was the first out of the classroom. Slinging her backpack over her shoulder with ease, she quickly strolled out the door. Her seat isn't even closest to the exit, and she always manages to be the first one out of the door. I don't think I'll ever understand that. Um, me and you both know Naomi. I wish I was fast as her getting out of here. Naomi folded her arms close to her chest, giving me a disappointed look. Oh, not you too. She's turning you into a delinquent. Nah, I just don't like school. Haha, <laughs> it's a joke, Naomi. <laughs> well, it's not really funny. I'll get over it. Man, you guys are slow. Are you coming or what? We heard you the first time. Not everyone has rocket boosters attached to their legs when the bell rings. That'd be amazing if we did, though. Are you kidding me? That class was ridiculously boring. Even Miss Valedictorian here was dozing off a bit. I do have to admit, I was spacing out. And just because I answer one question doesn't mean I'm automatically the valid. Okay, so it wasn't too interesting. But you should at least pay attention when Phillips is talking about the important parts. Valedictorian! I know what I was saying. So you finally admit it. We're finally on the same wavelength. Welcome to the club, Patterson. Oh, what? What happened? No! How do I go back? Let me go back. I hate, I hate this. Dang it. <sighs> <sighs> now I'm depressed. Maybe they were just perfect compliments. Okay, let's go. Maybe they were just perfect compliments to our personality that just didn't dictate the possibility of their friendship. After all, we three had been best friends since preschool. See, I didn't mess up any words there. Except for I stumbled a little bit. Alright, so where are we heading to first? Cafeteria? I think we can all agree that we're really hungry. Especially after hearing about our company's line of deliciously spicy bubblegum. Who would even buy that? I wonder. You'd be surprised. Me? I would pay good money to get a taste of it. Mmm, excuse me. Burped a little. You do like spicy food after all. We entered the cafeteria, a bustling room filled with the aromas of different kinds of food. As we got in line, we ordered our meals and chatted freely. Cajun fries and the spicy chicken burger for me. That's my definition of a good meal. I don't like spicy stuff for, for me, because I hate it. I'll take a tuna sandwich and some juice. You're probably going to need water or something to curb all that spicy flavor, Suzu. I can't be tamed by the likes of that. If it's spicy, then it's gotta be all or nothing. You're crazy! Hell yeah, I'm crazy. I think I'm getting a migraine. I can... I can put you at ease. I think I'll go with... No. I'll go with some mac and cheese. I want to be different. I love mac and cheese. That sounds good. Once we got our food, we settled down at one of the empty tables, putting our backpacks aside to finally dig into the food. Man, I am thirsty now. <laughs> Suzu leaned back in her chair, tilting it back so that she could rest her feet on the table by her food. All right, then. Is there anything we want to talk about? <laughs> Bored already? I know. Let's talk about... Say boys and I will never speak to you ever again. Aww, why not? <laughs> Let's talk about...
up, boys? And I feck the chest and I- Oh god, abs and thighs. Uh. She's like, God, no. What's so interesting about talking about guys? Not like any of us are gonna get boyfriends anytime soon. Instead, let's talk about that. boobs. What if one of us does get a boyfriend? Like, what size are you? Seriously. Tell me now. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm kidding. Like, that's going to happen, Naomi. Oh, my Look God. at us. I'm a tiny Italian. You're a ditzy blonde. Ha <laughs> ha! Tiny Italian. Sorry, my dog's trying to attack me. Get off the bed! Hey! No offense. And Anderson here. Wow. I guess she could land a boyfriend or girlfriend if she wants. I know! Did you not see my freaking name, sir, Buttons? I will touch everybody. Or girlfriend? She can be a lesbian if she wants. Oh, snap. True. That's okay, Suzu. I'm not sure I want a boyfriend yet. Why not? It's our senior year. Might as well get a boyfriend. Why y'all want me to get laid so bad? God! It's my life. I'm sorry for every headphone user. Maybe she's just not interested in a relationship, Suzu. Yeah, what if I want to be asexual? What if I want to mate with myself and then I have two of me? Is, is that weird? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, I had soda. It really wasn't about wanting a relationship, but more of there was no one interesting enough to be in a relationship with. Don't get me wrong, I'm an open person, but there were not many interesting guys in the school to go out with. Who knows? Time will tell. Naomi looked at me, wanting to continue the conversation. However, before she could speak, the speakers in the cafeteria started up an announcement echoed through the cafeteria. Miss Anderson, please come to the main office immediately. Please bring your things with you. What did I do now? I- Listen. 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 I didn't mean to touch her butt. Listen, it was out there, and my hand slipped, and, 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 uh. Oh my. Looks like our plans have been cut short. The men in white coats have finally come to get you. <laughs> is it, is it because of my name? This is racist. Suzu, don't joke around. What if it's serious? This is name, nameness. <laughs> ah, fine. If something happens, just call us. Hit you up on the phone. Oh crap, I didn't even read. I just skipped. <laughs> and it was certainly no laughing matter. Cold. It was really cold. I'm guessing somebody died. Because, oh, yep, you hear the church bells and I see black umbrellas. Somebody definitely died. The rain became heavier that afternoon, accompanied by rolling thunder now and then. The skies had turned dark, though I couldn't see any of it under the black umbrella. Not that I was looking up. In fact, looking up was the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh sorry. I had to burp. I stared at the grass beneath my feet, unable to look up at the people weeping around me. All I could see was the damp grass underneath my feet. Only the monotone. Uh, 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 I, I, I really know. I don't know how to say. Elogies? 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 If I'm saying it wrong, oh well. That floated through my ears, reminding me that I was at a funeral. It was only when the speeches ended that I finally was able to raise my head. A small gathering of people, mostly made of relatives that didn't even know were relative, related to me, were huddled around a simple small grave. For a while, all I heard was the sound of raindrops on umbrellas. If it weren't raining, everything would probably be in a heavy silence. I looked beside me, where my father was standing, holding up a large black umbrella for our small family of three. His face was emotionless. A, uh, his face was emotionless. A strange sight next to my weeping mother. I wonder what was going through his mind. After all, in, enticed in the smooth gray tombstone before it was his father's name. My grandfather, the one who raised me like his own daughter, had passed away that day. The ceremony was small. Only close family were allowed to come. Slowly, though, people began to leave, leaving my father, mother, and me behind at the grave. A man dressed in a clean black suit under the uniform black umbrella of the funeral attendees walked towards us, introducing himself as his grandfather's lawyer. He pulled out a few documents from his suitcase and began to read aloud its contents. And now, I shall read Harold Anderson's last will and testament. 
Only my parents and I were allowed to be present for my grandfather's will. It was under the strict request of his law lawyer, and there was a reason why. And to my dearest granddaughter, I give my estate. All the furniture and decor that resides within the house shall also be given to my granddaughter. What? I couldn't believe my ears. I was, I was going to say I couldn't believe my eyes, because you definitely hear with those. I couldn't believe my ears. I had earned the family estate at 18. That was impossible, and yet it was written by my own grandfather's hand. He passed the family estate to her? Why am I not surprised? Okay, Dad, excuse me. Okay, we about to fight. Listen, listen. Just because I didn't get you that watch for Father's Day doesn't mean you have to be so disrespectful. <laughs> Dear. Honey. Well, did you say anything about what will become of the CEO and chairman position of the Anderson Toys Company? No. It is presumed that the vice chairman will succeed the position. <laughs> Even to the bitter end, he wouldn't give in. What a stubborn old man. Shaking his head, my father turned to face my mother with a serious expression on his face. About the estate. Should we send her there to get used to the building? It'll be a good place for her to live after high school. Are you sure we should? You know, I'm right here, right? Why not? This would be a good experience for her. Honey, what do you think? I think my dad's a penis, but you know, <laughs> I'm just a child. I really wasn't sure what to say. Why did my grandfather think I was the appropriate heir to the mansion? Was I even ready to live on my own? Well, David. Oh, crap! Crap! Sorry. Crap! I didn't mean to do that! It was so fast! Freaking freak freak! Freakity freak! Can I please? There's gotta be a way I can go back, but I'm afraid to. Let me see real quick, actually. Yes, I would like to save. I want to go back, and I want to see if I can go back. Main. See, no. It's telling me I want to quit. Oh, my God. Uh, I'll be back. What'd you say? Why did you answer your phone? Because I'm recording. Oh. That's why. Nope. Alright. Stop, Color. What do you want? Why? Oh, please don't move. Are you serious? Did it not record the whole time? <sighs> oh my gosh. It's getting really annoying that, um... Why is it not record? I don't... Why aren't you working now? You were just open. <laughs> 